My name's Kate and the guy riding with me is the husband Nigel. We ride hardtail mountain e-bikes and have a great time. But we're senior riders and we don't do the high level technical stuff. We like to ride off-road, scenic, fairly non-technical routes. As a result, I'm popping a few of my favourite routes up onto YouTube for anyone wanting something less technical. They can have a look at them and see if it's something they fancy riding. So we start today's ride at Oddendale near Junction 39 on the M6. Now Oddendale's in Cumbria, the ride's in Cumbria, but looking at the map, this is now classified as part of the Yorkshire Dales National Park. This ride is roughly just over 17 miles long and 80% off-road. So the ride's going to take us up across the Hardendale Fell, out onto Crosby Ravensworth Fell, and then across to what I think will be the Asby Windeworth Common. Goodness knows where the boundaries stop and start on these commons. But anyhow, we'll be then returning via the village of Orton. So take a look, see what you think. We've set off just outside Ordendale today. And we're up onto the bridleway that leads us up onto the fell itself. Good track. Nice hard car. At the moment, it's certainly dry. I think I've got my gears down too low, so let's readjust. So it's the middle of April, Easter. We've stayed away from the main tourist areas in the Lake District done these rides quite a few times you hardly ever meet anyone and they're great just a nice steady climb up here I've got it in ETMB setting the gears are nicely down and just pedal like hell and I'm sorry if I'm puffing a bit but it may look fairly flat on the video but it is a steady climb do you know what? I think I'm going to shut up because <laughs> it's hard work thinking, talking and riding uphill. I will add though that there is a bit of wind or at least the mic will pick up some wind but I recently invested in a, a media mod for my GoPro 10 I'm using So hopefully my voice will be clear over the sound of the wind. I'll find out when I get back home and edit it. So we're going along here. We're going to follow the track going round to the left which is the one that takes us down to Crosby Ravensworth. I see they've replanted the wood on the left. They've replanted it. And actually encroached a bit more onto the path we usually take. Uh, left, I think, Nige. Right, so we're going to go to the left through the newly formed, built gateway. Oh yes. We have a nice bridleway sign here. through the gateway and onwards the tracks are reasonably well defined you just have to 
follow where the quad bikes or whatever else roams these fells go. Nice grassy surface, bumpy bumpy. Another gate. Hell. I suppose in some respects, at least you know where you're heading for, though. And I've put fences up and gates in. No, oh, I think it's to the left and over that stream. birds up here that are on getting their nests in order. It is spring and I don't know whether you can hear them in the background sending out the alarm calls because we're riding along. But it's another reason to stay to the tracks. It's better for the, the wildlife. I'm not sure that the video footage is going to be Stable, even though I've got it on maximum stabilization. I've now got the new Volta battery attached and it's just making the actual GoPro itself bounce around a bit more, but we'll see when we get back. It's all a learning curve at the moment. Now, it's still over two miles of beautiful off road easy riding. They've planted a heck of a lot of trees. Now, the bottom half of this route before it goes into Cross the River Worth becomes, I think it's called Slanty's Lane. Anyhow, it's hardcore, rough, loose stones. Rideable, but it's. Um, a rougher surface. I mean, the last time we were over here was last autumn, so probably about six months ago. And these trees were not here. The gates, the fencing was not here. I think it's better actually. It'd be lovely when these get grown up. Shortly onto a minor tarmac road. Here we go. Well, that was lovely. First part of the ride done. Here we go, cattle grid. left at the junction. That's quite a pretty little village too, isn't it? I like the idea of some books and stuff in the old, or the, the bush shelter. Yeah. All right, so it's over this bridge here on the left and we turn immediately right, don't we? Moor, and we'll just keep to the right hand side of the farm. Now, this road just gradually climbs and peters out onto a nice grassy, grassy green lane. 
but the rest of this little short section is just a very minor road leading to basically nowhere. Probably a few farms and that's it. Ah, the husband's found a perch. Oh yes, no wonder. Forgot about how nice the views are up here. Okay, so looking across to the fell on the far side towards Ottendale, you can see the, the track that's coming down. That's what we've just rode down. We came from the far side of those fells. We've come down there and looking to the right down the valley. So that's the village of Crosby Ravensworth. Thank you, dear. I was on a pause trying to remember what it was called. All right, so we have public bridle way. Bank Moor, three quarters of a mile. So that's where we're heading right. So we want the one that goes up to the right here. You can see it on the bend quite clearly goes straight ahead up the fell. And this one is lovely. It's almost like it's a golf course that's been closely cut. The turf is beautiful. <laughs> Put it down another gear. We're gently climbing. Past the husband. That will be the main road. The Norton to Appleby Road. Right. Up and over. This is looking towards Orton Scar. Whoa, stiff breeze. Got turning here for Great Asby on the left. Straight on goes to Orton. But we're going to take a, a left turn and go straight across onto the bridleway. Up onto the Horton Fells. Another bridleway, grass surface, which a little bit further on becomes a little bit more rocky. well-defined track fortunately because I wouldn't really like to ride through the longer grass the longer dread grass on the right and left of me but these are quite well used tracks let's pick our way along here nicely The aim is to go right over the fell and drop onto a road at the far side where we turn right and go back into Orton and then come back up on the Hardendale fell back to Ottendale. Easy peasy, maybe. See on the left, we're just starting to get into a little bit more limestone. I 
I know it impacts on the path in a little while. But nothing too bad. As you can see. when it's all nice and dry. But imagine it might get a bit slippy when it's wet. Yeah. Now at this point, I'm gonna cross what used to be a tarmac road leading to the mines on the left. And this then joins the, the Orton Appleby Road to the right and goes on to a disused quarry on the left. It looks as though it's a popular walking route. But we go straight on and across. It's beautiful up here. It's nice and remote. And I think there's a, a nature reserve somewhere across to the left-hand side or the far side of the hill. straight across through this gate, takes us over the scar there ahead and towards the road I'm on about. Here we go. Now the, the route, the track here is not quite so well defined so it is literally just a case of picking it out. Well there is a route. Perhaps I should say there's stones in the way. That's it. Nice bouncy route. Heading for that gate in the bottom that you can probably see. Now we ride these Cube Reaction hardtail e-bikes. They've got the Bosch Performance CX motors and they are absolute beasts. <laughs> They're brilliant fun to ride. Nice grass surface. Ah, now then, this could be the bridleway that goes across. Yep, so this is another route across left to Great Asby. This is probably the one we'll do at some point, Nigel. Right, it's another one that takes you down to Orton and straight ahead. Not sure what that green lane is called that we're heading for, but it's onto the Orton Road. And we're going to go left and follow that scarp face along till it disappears over the far side. An interesting ride. A pit stop here. That's very pleasant. The sun's shining, it's warm. I like it.
Hi there. Hi. Hi. This is brilliant. The views are spectacular from up here. And considering it's a bank holiday weekend, we haven't seen too many people. Maybe over the far side. That was a bit of an adventure. Oh, yeah. Well, what does it say? Public bridle way for a third of... Sorry, public byway for a third of a mile, and then the bridle way, which is what we've just come over. And it's part of the coast to coast further on. So out of that byway and we turn right onto this road. Goodness, a smooth bit of road, Nigel. <laughs> Considering what we've bumped our way over, this feels luxury. Now, short ride along this road, as I said before, brings us into Orton. And then we go through Orton and have a, another mile or so to go. And then we take a ride back up onto Hardendale Fell and onto a bridleway for a bit more off-road fun. Here we go into Orton. Hosts a pub, the chocolate fac factory, the Kennedy's chocolate factory, that is. I'm going to swing her right down here before the bridge. So I'm going to turn left. Scar Cafe. Pit stop if anybody needs one. Village store on the left hand side and straight across to the right. I'm now cycling out of Orton. As I say, we've got a, a little distance to do on this road now. At this junction, we're going to take the road that goes straight across. So bit of a staggered junction and off sign for Scout Green. Just gets off the main drag from the motorway into Orton. It's a quiet road, but uh, this is even quieter. Okay, so just passing Sprochgill Farm and plan is to take the bridleway here on the right. So just immediately over the cattle grid and a right turn up here. Thank you. Nice rough track at the moment. Horses have been along here. 
always a good sign that it's used. And I think this is actually a bridleway that's an old Roman road. Definitely a moorland path. So not a particularly well-defined path or bridleway up through that fell area. It may be better staying on the road, I think. That long grass is actually quite difficult to cycle through. Uphill and down dale, here we go. But maybe a bit more fun than staying on the road, I've got to say. Very battery draining. Okay, back onto the Autumn Road and I'm going straight across and the bridleway signs on the right here. So last section of this little ride. Another nice route, mainly on grass bit of stone, but good. Unfortunately, the ground is pretty dry at the moment. Here we go. Okay, sheepy bears, we're not going to hurt you. I'll just drop my gears a bit more. I've got to say, coming through all that long grass on the last little bridleway has kind of sapped my leg strength. That really is quite hard cycling. I think perhaps a road route might be better. So that's probably what I'll put on the YouTube footage. Scrub the bridleway that we've just done and pop in a road. Well, this is a brilliant track done it quite a lot. It's quite local to us, so it's one of our favourites. I'm just letting the video run purely then you can see what the road is like, because it is a little bit rough in places. Um, and that way you can decide whether this is something you want to do. These bikes are so good. I keep saying that, but they are. As I say, these rides, we're putting them together because when we got our mountain e bikes just over a year ago, we struggled to find routes that were suitable to ride off road. Ones that we were capable of doing. At the end of the day, we're senior riders. And although we would want to ride off road, we do not want to ride the adventurous high trails, the technical ones that the youngsters ride. So I walked a lot of bridleways to check out because a lot of these bridleways on the maps really aren't cyclable. So I've planned several routes, decided if we like them, we'll put them together into a video form and pop them on YouTube in the hope that there's others out there that might benefit from the route that I've planned. For a bank holiday, I can suggest this is a brilliant ride. It was a brilliant ride full stop, but particularly for bank holidays, because there's just nobody here. Stay away from the, the Lake District, the heart itself. Get yourself over to Orton, Shap, Great Asby, and ride these fells. 
a little bit more rounded than the Lake District. But they're great fun. Nearly at the top now. We'll soon be crossing the track that we took on the way out. So we've done just short of 15 miles so far. I've got to say it feels like longer. I think that's probably because you're concentrating because you know the route is a bit tricky at times. You just want to make sure you get the right route. So that could be why it feels longer. Perhaps more effort was involved mentally anyhow. Forget about everything else when you get out on the fells like this. Fab in it. One to the right as well. I think as long as we're heading for those trees over in the distance, we're on the right track. Okay. Oh yes, so we're back to where we started off from on the fell anyhow. We veered off down to the right as we look at it. Forward and back to the car. Let's see if I can catch the husband up. Ooh. So ahead, you can see the slopes of the quarry at Hardendale. And we've got a couple of cars parked on the right. One of them is ours. So that's Hardendale. And as I say, the quarry on the left is Hardendale. This is where I sign off. I hope you've enjoyed the ride. This is an enjoyable rural ride across fairly remote fells. The scenery is amazing and the ride itself we feel fairly easy as most of it is on grass or gravel, although there is a few rougher patches. Everyone has different riding abilities, so check the video and see what you think. Cheerio for now.